World Boxing Association, Victor Galindez. Making the weight, the limit of 175, tipping it at 174 and three quarters. He's going against Southpaw Marvin Johnson, former WBC champion. Won it against Matt Franklin, lost it in the very next fight to the same man. Matt Franklin here watching. In fact, he's about the second row using binoculars to see what these two do. It's scheduled to go 15 rounds. Uh, speculation here that it will not. You saw uh, cut damages in Las Vegas. Both these fighters cut, especially Galendez. In fact, there was a little bit of an argument earlier by Johnson's corners. We looked the southpaw come out, and the referee is from Caracas, Venezuela, Jesus Chalas. The Johnson corner knew that Galendez on the far side was using a new skin, a plastic substance, to protect the scar tissue above both eyes. Of course, that's illegal, and they had it removed. And they checked very closely at the start of round one here to make sure that it hadn't been put back on. They have never met before. Galindas on the right, 174 and three quarters, fighting under WBA rules. The three knockdown rule is in effect, unlike the WBC. Mandatory eight count. These are eight obstacles. And as he normally does, that's Marvin Johnson of Indianapolis, former champion, starting early. Good little under uppercut slipped between the two gloves of Johnson. The reason for the two white trunks, Johnson doesn't like any other color, superstitious if he wears it, and in Argentina the custom is that the champion wears white trunks, so here we have the situation. With a massive upper body, Galindas against the ropes, coming back out. He's more of a looping puncher, hooks with the left hand, uppercuts a great deal. Whereas Johnson, who has him pinned against the ropes, likes to, likes to hook with the right, jab with it, and has a beautiful straight left hand. Earlier when we were here at the Louisiana Super, uh, Superdome, we uh, indicated that a lightweight, Scotty Pullman from New Orleans, had been down on the campus after being KO'd by Helmer Kennedy, who remains undefeated from Detroit. We're happy to report that Scotty Pullman uh, recovered and is fine. No damage. This is the first round of the Just Joining and another part of the tale of the two cities here on ABC. One minute to go in the first round. Salis of Caracas, Venezuela, the referee. One judge is from Los Angeles, Rudy Jordan. And uh, Harmadeo Sedena from Panama is the other judge. All three figure into the scoring in the 10-point must system. Galendez is 31 years old. This is his 14th title defense. He lost it once, as you remember, right here in this very ring on the Alice Lincoln Bar against Mike Rustin, then gained it back. Marvin Johnson on the right now, the southpaw. He's 25 years old. He looks much older because of the receding hairline. Those punches were blocked. The bell in about five seconds here in New Orleans. Championship bout. Victor Galindo is the champion against the ropes, covering up both dupes up alongside his head, then occasionally coming out of the cocoon and trying to land on Southpaw Johnson of Indianapolis. Johnson at 173 and a half, Galindo at 174 and three quarters. Galindo actually is hard to hit. Moves that head, slips, punches, bobs, ducks inside. He has scored 33 knockouts in a total of 67 fights. Marvin Johnson, the left-hander, 23 runs, 17 by knockout. Schedule 15, Johnson has gone 10 rounds, six times. The champion, Galendez, with his back to us, has gone 15 rounds, nine times, should the fight go beyond the eighth or ninth round. Neither fighter marked. Oh, good on the jaw of Johnson on the right. Partially blocked that straight right hand. Glenn 
Davis against the ropes, sharp eye. Looks a lot meaner than he is. There was a good hook to the body. Block as Johnson's torso is back to us. Another one. Good left to the chin of Johnson. Glendis with a right uppercut. Unorthodox four punches. Glendis on the right with a minute to go in the second round. There's a good inside left uppercut. Another one. Those are the kind that cut off an opponent. So it's a round of uppercuts here at the Superdome. That's slugging. Now mixing it up. 30 seconds remaining in round two. To the body and two to the head by Galindez. Another one to the jaw. Another. 20 seconds and they'll get a rest. A little bit of holding and hitting by Johnson now. Seconds, you'll hear the bell. The Venezuelan referee, Jesus Chalis, looking to the corner of Galendez and why they're late. Oh, the second was late in getting out, but now they're ready. First round, we fall even on the 10 point must system. That one, you, I think, would have to give to Galendez. Landed uh, the more solid punches and more of them. He is a banger. with a reach of 73 inches. The challenger, Johnson, gunning him against the rope, 72 inches. In close, short range slugging. Galindis, speaking of Carlos Manzon. Now, it looks as though the right eye of Galindis may be starting to puff a little. An area beneath the eye. Ten seconds. We'll be back. A ten point must, an even round, ten to each fighter. Ten and a minimum of seven for the man who loses the round. I scored the last one even. Both light heavyweights giving and taking. Yeah. 
They put an ice pack on that area under Glendale's right eye. Try to keep the swelling down. Two short-armed light heavyweights. Vince Johnson continuing to put the pressure on Galindas. Corralling him. In the corners or near the ropes. seconds, then return to the Louisiana Superdome. Who is the champion? On the left, Victor Emilio Galindez of Buenos Aires, Argentina. The slight, slight mouse under his right eye. No cuts on either fighter. Going against the former WBC light heavyweight champion Marvin Johnson, a native of Indianapolis, Indiana. This is the fifth round. Now uh, coming down a little bit. 
here in the fifth round with less than 30 seconds. Championship boxing from the Superdome in New Orleans after this word from our local station. Scoring system. And what the two judges and the referee look for in scoring about. Takes for you perhaps a clean hits, ring generalship, defense, and effective aggressiveness. Galindas halfway closed at this point. No cuts. Galindas against the ropes uh, fought in the 1968 Olympics for Argentina. Was defeated and uh, the man with his back to his Marvin Johnson won a bronze medal at the Munich Olympic Games. Those of you that have tuned in late, Antifirma successfully defended his middleweight championship against Marvin Hagler. It was a draw and thus retained that coveted title. Coming up, Sugar Ray Leonard going against the champion Rodrigo Benitez from Las Vegas. We're in New Orleans. Southpaw Johnson looking out there. They're just very light, menacing, perhaps to block the vision of Belinda's where he could throw a straight left. Earlier they had some authority. That was a fairly good jab. A good uppercut by Belinda's. A minute to go in the sixth round. Glancing uppercut by the champion. Good body punch by Johnson. Follows up with two more. Into the head, and Galindis is noticeably shaken up by the punches, dropping his arms now. Those hurt. He sunk those hands into the midsection of Galindis. But he's in good shape, should recover from it. Less than half a minute, round six. seconds then we'll be back Chip against Wilfred Benitez that bout live from Las Vegas we're in round seven of the scheduled 15 round light heavyweight championship fight you just joined us with that receding hairline at 25 years of age Marvin Johnson of Indianapolis and Southpaw the champion is against the ropes where he has spent most of the evening that's his style of fight a brawler Massive torso. And can throw punishing left hooks like that to the body. The best body punches, though, thus far have been landed by Johnson, digging his right hand deep into the midsection of the champion. is complaining that there was a low blow as he went to the ring you probably saw him double up a little bit but they have ample protection oh a beautiful right hand lead right on the button of johnson but he took it Linda's now really blinking his eyes and probably getting a lot of perspiration in them punches tonight. They usually take their toll later. Johnson moving around beautifully. Same 
Felix from, Argentina, from Venezuela, the referee. Judge from Panama and Rudy Jordan from Los Angeles with a minute to go in the seventh round. We'll be hopping out to Las Vegas between rounds. inside in the Superdome and on Monday night ABC's coverage of the New Orleans Saints Oakland Raiders football game right here. 20 foot square ring slightly elevated. Better vision for the some 10 or 12,000 fans who have come out here for this fight. Card. And it's Ben Johnson surprisingly a very busy moving in fighter. Counter punching by the champion who stays on the ropes. If they weren't wrapped with corduroy he'd have more rope burns a very effective calculations by Martin Johnson. They are they are scoring punches. Not hard enough to knock an opponent down, but they're pile-up points. Earlier tonight, here in the very same ring, a spectacular contender, Tommy Hearns, knocked his opponent down four times, his opponent, Mike Colbert, unofficially one more time, in winning a unanimous decision. Beautiful performance by the young man who may someday meet Leonard or Benitez. I said round seven, it's round eight. Johnson, the left-hander on the left. But you notice now Galindez is setting up in a more classic style. His form with the left-hand lead and the right-hand cock to unload some heavy leather. Instead of uh, the gloves, the eight-ounce gloves high along their head. That left was blocked. One of those landed. That was a bouncing punch, so was that. But they're throwing a lot of leather. Minutes to go, round eight. Right above us now. And the referee in the other part way. He's a heavyweight. These are light heavyweights. No cuts. Swollen area under the right of Glenda's on the right. Blocked. We'll leave in 10 seconds to return for the ninth round of this championship bout. Neither of them hard to find in the ring. They like to slug it sometimes unwisely, especially in the case of Johnson, who won the title from then Matt Franklin, only to lose it in a thriller on ABC in Indianapolis against Matthew South Muhammad. This year, watching this fight, he's the WBC champion. First time they've been near the center of the ring, the box. trying to change his style instead of putting his gloves up and counter punching from the ropes to the corner. 
267 fights, 54 wins. Johnson has won reportedly 23 of 26. Wayne Rounds, we checked with Galenis' advisor, the great champion Carlos Mondor, and he said he was happy with what he was doing thus far. Good body punch by Galenis, the champion. Keep watching the area over the left eye of Galenzis. They put a, some type of liquid on his eyebrow there between rounds. We did not see any blood. Good right hand catching the cheekbone of Johnson. Good punches by both light heavyweights. Body punch was short by Galendez. Gets the ropes in the corner now. Galendez with two southpaw sparring partners during the four weeks here. Ran six miles every day at Lake Punta Train to follow it with soccer games. Played soccer each time. Good straight left, right on the nose, the bridge of the nose by Johnson. Another one. Glenda's smiling now. They must have stung him. from Buenos Aires, Argentina. The same is true of the Johnsons. Victor, whom we're looking, well, we're seeing the back of one of his handlers, uh, Chief Second, as we go down to Franklin. Matthew Saad Mohammed, the WBC light heavyweight champion. We saw him uh, successfully defended with Atlantic City against the great English light heavyweight, former champion John Conti. And of course, he won the title from Marvin Johnson. Johnson didn't hold the ball.
Two good punches by the champion. Two left-hand leads by Johnson. Both those shots blocked. And it's good the right hand was because it was whistling. He nearly toppled over. Remember Johnson on the right, a southpaw. Here's another view of it. A beautiful left hand. There'll be another one. Two in a row on the button. Well, we're coming up to the 11th round. And now from another angle, all that action in the 10th round here in New Orleans. So it appeared there's Carlos Monzon right behind us. Unfortunately, does not speak English. One of my favorite fighters of all time. Imagine that undefeated in 13 years, 15 title defenses. What a classic boxer puncher he was. All right, we're in the 11th round now. They're unleashing a lot of heavy leather now. This is only... Oh, and now goes to second. And this is down in the early part of the 11th round. The referee has stopped the bout. The referee says that is it, and Galindez, we feel sorry for him. He is crying, but he caught a shot that would knock anybody down. So now Marvin Hagler has won his second light heavyweight, or rather Marvin Johnson has won his second light heavyweight championship. He has held the WBC, which he lost to Matt Franklin. Now he's won it. So here in New Orleans, Galindez, who started to weep because he knew he was on the seat of his pants and couldn't get up, the game champion that he is, he has lost it twice in this very ring in New Orleans, Louisiana. He was the favorite, and what an upset. 20 seconds into the 11th round, a sudden, beautiful, straight shot. All right. Marvin Johnson elated. There's his brother, Staff Sergeant Henry, who boxed 125 rounds with him at Fort Bragg, North Carolina. We'll be back here after this. At 20 seconds of round 11, the referee from Venezuela stopped the bout. We're going to look at the knockdown in slow motion. <coughs> he had set him up throughout most of the rounds with sharp punches, especially left hands. But look at the game, Galindas counterpunching the challenger. You will see a couple of shots coming up here that just stopped him in his tracks, and he went to the seat of his pants, and the referee wisely, there was no way that the champion was going to get back up. All right, now, Glendis, as we look again from another angle, this was going to be the round that one of them was going to go because they were both tired, and there you see it. Rubbery legs, spaghetti legs, and... Marvin Johnson becomes the second man from Indiana to be the light heavyweight champion. The first was Jack Root back in 1914. All right, All right here, comes, here comes Marvin Johnson. Congratulations, champion of two divisions, but now, of course, the WBA. Boy, you really threw some shots. Thank you, buddy. I have to say this. All the credit goes to Fort Bragg, North Carolina boxing team. That's where it all took place. I was in camp five weeks. Them guys, they didn't respect me. They got in there, they tried to beat me up, they tried to knock me out. Coach, uh, Sergeant Grant, Mr. Buck Hall, they, they, made the, they made everything at my convenience, whatever I needed. So I got to congratulate them people. Plus, I want to dedicate this fight to 
my own uh, personal doctor, Davidson, who's at home in Indianapolis, couldn't make it, unfortunately, because of the illness. Well, you did in front of your mother, your wife, your sister, S Sergeant Henry behind you. Thank you. All of my people are here. Uh, my mother, my my wife, my lovely wife, have not saw my baby in five weeks. All my people here, my wonderful Hey, go enjoy it. Go enjoy it. We're thank proud of you. Very much. And also thanks to <laughs> Captain Strahan. Okay, ladies and gentlemen.